Históricamente han ejercido distintos niveles de autonomía, self-government, different levels of self-government. This was that way because the people in this territory was never really conquered by the different colonial powers. Um, the Spanish, when the when Columbus and all the others that came after, when they pass here and see what this looked like. It didn't look interesting to them. No le pusieron mucha mente. By the time they realized the geographical importance of this territory, eh, la importancia geopolítica, eh, ya era muy tarde para hacer la conquista. Mire, ellos no les interesó también porque la gente nuestra, the people living here, used to live from, eh, from, from hunting and fishing. So they was no eran sedentary. No, in the rest of, in, in the other side, in the Pacific or in Nicaragua, la gente eran agricultores. They plant corn and these crops. So you have to be there to, to take care of that crop. Being we hunting, we was andábamos de arriba para abajo. We was settling in un solo punto. Daba lo mismo estar en Bilwi que en Monkey Point o en Bluefield. Porque la actividad de pesca o de caza se hace indistintamente. Entonces eso, sí. ¿lo llamaste? Sí. Ah, ok, está bien, hermano. Sí, vale. Yeah, so um, by the time they, rea they realized the importance of this territory, it was, it was practically too late to come and um, the, then after the Spanish, the French, the Dutch and others hicieron distintos intentos de colonizar, de conquistar el territorio, pero lo que usaron la mejor táctica posiblemente, si podemos decirle un nombre, fueron los, los británicos, pero no tanto, no fue el gobierno británico primero, sino que los piratas hicieron alianza con los nativos de acá, eh, y esa alianza era necesaria eh, para ellos, eh, luego esos piratas, en esos grupos de piratas habían británicos, franceses, holandeses, etcétera, que estaban protegidos por su gobierno para atacar los barcos, los puertos y las colonias españolas. You know, so, eh, esos, esa gente hizo una alianza con, con los nativos de acá eh, y lo que era Nicaragua fue colonizado por los españoles. Entonces, ¿qué pasó? Los españoles, the Spanish, taught the indigenous people in Nicaragua to fight against the indigenous from the Mosquitia. Tell them they are your enemies. But the real enemies of the Spaniard was the, was, the, was the British. And the British did the same thing with us. They, they taught us to fight against the Spanish to hate them, so they are your enemies. So we used to accompany these British to go and raid the Spanish ships, the Spanish forts, the Spanish colony. They were our enemy. We used to go and, and 
fight them, kill them, take away whatever they have. I mean, and precisely even the city of Bluefields, you know, we call this Bluefields. Um, it's so complicated to understand our history because the most important sources are Spain and England. And when you read the Spanish writings, you get one version of the history, and when you read the English writings, you get a different version. So you have to read between the lines to know what was really happening. The, the, those Spanish people always uh, said, how is it that we could take our this nice city of Bluefield and put it, call it in the name of a pirate, Blavet, Abraham Blavet. And that's why this is named Bluefield. Okay, so for them, the Spanish, the pirate was terrible. I think there was there wasn't so good, but well, uh, for us there wasn't that terrible, you see, because we was along with them, and what we do is them was taking all these riches to carry to Spain, and we raid the ship, take those riches and share it among us and the pirates, you know. So um, so for us. The pirates wasn't that bad, and for the Spanish, the pirates was the worst thing on earth, ¿verdad? Eh, eh, entonces esa es la complicación. The thing is, um, the, that relation, from the relation, our relation with pirates and British in general, um, I could mention two important results. One is that this territory became a British protectorate eventually and a second important result of that relation is that uh, we established a monarchy in 1635 we began to crown kings so we had a, a this was known as the Mosquito Kingdom El Reino de la Mosquitia um, and this kingdom began to be a very strong, powerful kingdom. I mean, we controlled practically the whole east coast of Central America. Nobody could do us anything. I mean, we could do anything we wanted because we was protected by one of the greatest force on the face of the earth, the British protecting us. We do anything we want. So we used to go, I mean, I, it's so ugly sometimes, People know very little about our history, but and they just want to know a lot. But when they began, when they begin to find out that not everything is color de rosa, well, some people don't want to hear it. They only want to hear the, the pretty part. And well, in las páginas de nuestra historia hay páginas muy hermosas that we are proud of. Pero también hay algunas páginas que no son tan bonitas, pero que la gente tiene derecho de conocer también. Entonces, eh, nosotros llegó un tiempo en que nuestra gente entraban a Honduras, entraban a Nicaragua, entraban a Costa Rica, entraban a Panamá y capturaban indígenas y los vendían como esclavos. Nuestra gente de aquí, ¿verdad? Eh, y bueno, eh, generalmente se dice que eran los ingleses que hacían eso. Eh, tal vez eran expediciones inglesas. Pero la gente que andaban en esa expedición, los que hacían toda esa guerra, todo eso, pero era nuestra misma gente, indígenas de la mosquita. You know, but the, the, the thing what I want to focus is that this have always, this, what you know today as Nicaragua have always been, as Ashley said, a divided country, divided by colonial powers. Uh, uh, the Nicaragua colony on one side and the British protectorate on the other side and we fighting against each other. Yes. Um, este reino se hizo muy poderoso pues eh, y exitoso y comenzó a tener, began to face it first problems, serious problems until about 1850 when, eh, cuando se tomó la decisión firme de construir un canal para unir el océano Atlántico con el océano Pacífico. Eh, para eso, el gobierno británico firmó un tratado con el gobierno de Estados Unidos llamado eh, Clayton-Bowler Treaty. 
to build a canal and to join the Atlantic with the Pacific. I think you know that history. Al final, el canal terminó en Panamá, ¿verdad? Eh, pero eh, ese mismo tratado para hacer ese canal al final también resultó que se puso fin al protectorado británico. Los británicos tuvieron que irse, ¿verdad? Y nosotros quedamos, eh, prácticamente iniciamos a partir de 1860 una relación con Nicaragua, ¿verdad? Eh, una relación que fue promovida por Estados Unidos para que nosotros entráramos en esta relación con, con Nicaragua, pero era difícil porque, you know, we were enemies and uh, just, uh, we're going to start a new relation where they're going to be like the ones who, instead of the British, Nicaragua going to give us protection. Be, pero esa relación fue muy, muy mala, comenzó muy mal. You know, just to mention a couple things, uh, there was an agreement uh, establishing that uh, that we will start this relation with Nicaragua, but it was left up to us to pass fully under the sovereignty of Nicaragua whenever we decide, sorry, Arif, if we get to like this relation and we decide that we want to be part of Nicaragua, the decision was left only and exclusively in our hands. Um, so, in and Nicaragua sign also uh, to respect our laws and our tradition. Uh, in a couple of years after that, that relation started, um, some two Nicaraguans killed a merchant.